From the brains behind Brains On, this is the moment of um. This is the moment of um from APM Studios. I'm Molly Bloom. Have you ever thought about what a huge role pencils play in our lives? We start using them to draw with as small children. We use them to take tests and write essays and figure out equations and make art. I'm just going to say it. Pencils are vital to how we communicate with each other. It's no wonder we got this particularly pointed pencil question. Hola, amigos. My name is Scarlett from Arkansas. My, and my question is, how does pencil lead stick to paper? That's a really great question and something I like to think about since I study how chemistry affects our everyday lives. My name is Joya Cooley. I am an assistant professor of chemistry at California State University, Fullerton, and I study the chemistry of different materials, so things in our world. Pencil lead sticks to paper without coming off because when you write with a pencil, you are creating friction. So friction is basically two things rubbing together. And what you have is tiny little fibers in a piece of paper that are rubbing against the graphite in your pencil lead. Graphite is just carbon, and it's carbon that's attached in a special way. So it's basically sheets of carbon stacked on each other. And so because the graphite is very weakly held together in sheets, those sheets will actually come off on the piece of paper that allow you to see what you're writing. Pencils we use to write have always been made of graphite. They've never contained lead. That actually came from a misconception. The pencil was first developed in the 1500s. They found these big slabs and they dug it out of the ground and they found they could saw it into sticks and they could write with it. Now, when they dug it out of the ground, they said, hey, this kind of looks like lead, it's just darker. So they called it black lead. So we were writing with pencil lead before we actually knew what it was. And then as chemistry knowledge progressed, they actually found that it was a form of carbon. But because it was sort of a new form of carbon, they called it graphite from a Greek word that means to write. Just like we use friction to write with pencils, friction also allows us to erase pencil writing. Erasers are generally made of some kind of rubber. And just like you would rub your hands together when you're cold and they would heat up, when you rub your eraser on your paper, it heats up and the rubber becomes sticky and pulls all of those little graphite pieces off of the paper. Um, um, um. Almost done. And there. That was such a great moment of um, I had to pull out my graphite-filled pencil and draw a thank you sign for our friend, Joya. Did you know that the average pencil has enough graphite in it to draw a line for 35 miles? I was all set to test it out, but I couldn't find a roll of paper that long. It's probably for the best. And while I've got pencils on the mind, have you heard about the ones that are made from recycled paper? It's like full circle, right? From wood to paper, then back to woodish stuff. Anyway, hooray for saving trees. If you liked the episode, take a second to follow Moment of Um wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also subscribe to the show on YouTube. Just search for Brains On. And if you just can't wait to hear more, 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 check out the Brains On podcast. That's where you can find out all about how paint sticks. Trust me, it is pretty cool. If you have a Moment of Um question, send it to us by going to brainson.org slash contact. Write it, record it, send a picture of it, whatever. Brainson.org slash contact is the place to go. Nice hanging out with you. Until next time. Um. um, 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 um.